Sometimes going game hunting can be so relaxing and you never know what you're gonna find because every day you go game hunting, to me, it's like Christmas. I'm Mr. Rightway, and on this channel, I love to go game hunting. I love to talk about GameStop, PlayStation, and also we love to be a focused video game collection. Today, we're gonna to have a very chill video and go game hunting the right way. Let's check it out. All right, so here in Goodwill, they have like a PlayStation 2 controller. This PlayStation 2 controller they have, it's really nice too. You don't usually see PS2 controllers this darn nice. It's like. $4.99 and then the GameCube controller, but it's also four. As you can see, they got toys here still, which is wild. And who's Miss Monopoly? Have y'all seen it before? All right, so they have a PlayStation 1 up here, but it has a really nice surprise with y'all. So I don't know if it's going to work or not, but we'll see. Namco controller and this PS1. <sighs> do some cleaning, but it might work. Because Goodwill has a bad habit of sometimes putting stuff out here like a PlayStation and it don't work. But took a chance on it. All the reason I took a chance on it because this Namco arcade stick right here is like the best, one of the best. It's a little discolored, but I can like, it still is one of the best. They bundled this with uh, Tekken 2 and also Soul Calibur. I think it's Soul Calibur. It is a beautiful controller. It's worth it. The controller mainly goes over 60 bucks. So yeah, definitely, definitely want to uh, keep that. All right, let's go to the next spot. jumped aside another goodwill guys you see barbie grooming glams but oh it's a nintendo ds version i almost freaked out when i saw it but these are the few games they had in this goodwill so we rush into the back and hope we can find some games y'all as soon as i saw these games i was like wait a minute, hold on a hollywood video vhs slip cover i should have got that but it has so many stickers on there but it's still a piece of history and you can see these 360 games right here, guys. First, we got Hawks and Halo 3 ODST for like $2 a piece. Both of these games, I'm definitely going to pick up, but no game inside that one. And no game inside that one, y'all. Totally disappointed. Crazy. All right, so the bad news is that the games don't have cases good news and good news good news and let me keep the cases but even the better news i just scored a whole bunch of wee games that we're gonna break down later i didn't record it <laughs> but yeah so i'm at the mall and i'm going to uh see if this playstation works i don't know what i want to do with it i don't know if i want to trade sell or what but let's just go see if it works all right next stop is cgx one of the premier game stores here in the Dallas Fort Worth area. Gotta drive a little bit of way out the way, but this store is always a blast. And I love my friend Curtis coming here to see him and also to, to check out this darn PlayStation, y'all. Yeah, I paid $40 for mm -hmm. both. Yeah, for, for both all of, of it. Yeah, for all of it. Because this is worth more than 40. Oh, yeah, sure it is. <laughs> this is worth more. I don't think they never really test these. Holding to see if I can feel it spinning. Yeah, I don't think. Uh, is it spinning? So, what takes to fix these things? Laser in it. Oh, yeah. It's just like 25 bucks on the eBay, and then it gets questionable why you should make it. You turn it upside down because the motor, for whatever reason, seems to work better upside down. Let's try a different disc to be sure. But I don't think it's spinning it. It's a 5500. Ooh, let's look how dirty. See how like nasty that is. Let's yeah. Oh! <laughs> I have salt. All right, so it's clean. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Yeah, it might work. Mind you, I would like some compressed air, but my my um 
other employee here. He mm -hmm. plays around with it every day. So oh, well, I heard it. That's no, that was me um, scraping on this because of this. You hear that? Mm -hmm. I already heard it. I can hear it right now. Well, working? I just know what the, I know what these sound like when they're working. Oh, really? Yeah, it's loading. So all it took is cleaning. Well, it's upside down, and I should have just left it upright the first time. That's why it's stuck in that screen. It's trying. You need to compress air it. Pull that out. Blow it out. And seal this. Just, oh, that dust and these clean. Because you have an optic and a laser, and it's just like a camera that focuses on the intended media instead. Mm -hmm. And I clean the top off, but it might be dirty in between. Oh, okay. And it sees that granule and focuses there instead. Do you need some compressed air? Yeah, I would. Okay. Let's clean it again and uh, try again. I'm going to blow into it. Pause. Pause? Pause what? Yeah, be mm. careful. Yeah. Moisture, uh -huh. it and then you have moisture that you have to focus on that instead. I ain't blowing it no more. It got it. Dirt got in my eye. <laughs> I never worried. Dumb too. Yeah. Pause, granddad. <laughs> you go go blind. I'm already blind. <laughs> I don't know what I want to do this thing, but it's it's I just got it because of this right here. Right now, dang it. I don't think it's gonna hurt it because it's open but still. Yeah. It's just dirty. All right, number three, let's see what we're losing. Oh yeah, here, like you, Yeah, that's how, that's, I just attuned to it. I know what it's not like. If you hold your hand here, you can feel the vibration when it's loading. It's trying, it really is trying. So just really dirty. Yeah. I got some compressed air at home. Get it hard with it and then clean it. And can you open it up and just clean it? Yeah. Okay. Clean. When you open the whole thing, mm -hmm. all, this right here is just on pegs. The oh, whole yeah. thing comes up. It's not. This is not glued down. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, as a whole, it will. That's what will do it to me. But you can pull it out. You know what I mean? Oh, you okay. can blow it out. Now that I touch it with the fingerprint. Yeah. Now you destroy the whole <laughs> the whole system. <laughs> it's actually like right here, guys. So this is the original PlayStation One. 5500 model as you can see all of these like resistors and all this stuff in here which i don't know too much about but <laughs> i'm in process of cleaning this as you can see this is where the cd lens is at the spinner memory card holder yeah see it's really dirty i'm gonna put some more 409 and stuff and clean that but yeah this is original ps1 guys all right, so I got the PlayStation home, man. I cleaned it up and did a good job on it. See, it opens and close. It may need a new laser, but so, I mean, it looks beautiful, y'all. Look at that, look how beautiful it looks. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this still. You know, the feet, and, but this is a 5,500 model, so back is clean still a little bit more cleaning to do but overall first wipe down has been really really good now let's see if it works y'all it's working playstation is on <laughs> it's working now it took a little cleaning and a little adjusting yeah a little adjusting look y'all it's working And with the PS2 controller. Okay, so you just see the PlayStation 1 right here. We got it all cleaned up, looking great. It does need more clean. I got a game in there. Yeah, you saw Jet Moto 2. I'm gonna have to open it back up and clean a little bit more. Uh, it does work. The laser is really good. Just gonna consult some of my friends about it and just see what else. But it's, it's good, I'm gonna hold on to it. It's definitely gonna be up for trade. I don't know what I'm gonna trade for, but it does work. As you saw on the TV over here, the thing I'm keeping in the collection I got today was uh, this Nemco arcade stick. As you can see, this is it's kind of discolored. 40 bucks for that and this right here, and I'm kind of still clean. As you see, it's a little wet still. I'm gonna have to soak it down with some like more alcohol, like right here, or uh, just clean it with the Goo Gone also right there. I use those two to clean up everything. 
which this is good. Uh, this PS1 controller with arcade stick is great. You can use it as a deadly weapon, like, ugh. Then the games, y'all. We got Call of Duty Black Ops 2, and then at the Goodwill, you know, both of these right here. Empty cases, I can reuse those, but, and then here is like an eBay pickup I got. This is We Dare for the PS3. The only reason I got that, I saw my boy Mystic pick that up. I'm like, huh, that was weird. Let me just get it. But these games right here, guys, you see all this? This is from One Goodwill. All of this was $10, right? As you can see, the price is gonna say $3.99, but don't jokers hook me up. So thank you. Thank you for watching. Hey man, thank you for watching. Thank you for hooking your boy up. But it was Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 3, all the good stuff, y'all. New Super Mario Brothers, Wii. So Mario Party 8, $3.99. But is that $3.99 on there? No, they charge your boy. So cheap, like a dollar and fifty cent. Wii Sports Resort, Skate It, which I might trade that. Nintendo Select version of Twilight Princess, Donkey Kong Country Return. Now, these next games I got at the same place, but I want to show you like a little comparison video. So you got Mario Kart Wii, got that. Now look at the price of Mario Kart Wii if you bought it somewhere else, right? Crazy. Goldeneye. Look at the price of Goldeneye. Super Mario Bros. Wii. Look at the look at the price of Mario Wii, right? I really think this game is phenomenal. More people need to play it. It's almost like a director's cut, but Mario Galaxy 2 got all of those in goodwill for a amazing price. All of these games right here. Yeah, I'm holding it. I got a big hand. I'm holding it all in one hand. But all the top quality games. All those top quality games. Oh my goodness, y'all. Can't believe it.